What do you mean it missed the timing? Welcome to another video and today we are back playing water decks because last time I played a non water deck people got mad at me So we're playing fish today. Okay, don't be mad We got the cash tiras because fish an XZ deck cash tiras and X XZ archetype Let's see if they work well together or if the cash tiras are not ready to be submerged in the water not safe for the water We're gonna get a right hand shark make the Bahamut and if you play sharks, or if you can get two level four water monsters on the field, this is a very cool combo that all you need to do is uh, make your Bahamut shark and you get full combo, all right? Now this is what we do because we don't have Toad. Konami stole Toad for us. He is still in the pet zone and in our hearts, but not in our decks because he is banned. Maybe one day Konami will free Toad. You go into the full armor Black Ray Lancer, and then you rank up into the Utopic Future. I'll do this combo again if you missed it, but there you go. Utopic Draco Future. Super easy, right? Just five, uh, just like five extra deck slots lets you make uh, a very powerful monster. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. And once per turn, monster negate. So, a uh, bit of a beefy beef stick. Now, our cash tiros didn't do too much. Or at least it doesn't look like they did too much. But if our opponent activates a monster effect, we can banish a monster from their extra deck with this unicorn. Uh, so, you know, that's not that bad. We also got Cosmic Cyclone. We'll see if that matters. Ash Blossom in the hand. The cash tier burst not going to do anything until we get another cash tier on the field. Opponent playing Goaties, but they're playing the deepest, darkest field spell. All right, I tell people not to play this, um, and I don't think Goaties play any other spell traps, so we're just going to banish this right now. Show off why uh, you shouldn't play this in the Goatee deck, all right? Watch my Goatee videos, opponent. If you're a fan of the channel, pay pay closer attention, because uh, don't play the field spell. Opponent, going to use those lifeless leaf fish. Now, we could negate and steal with the Utopic Draco future, but I'm worried opponent might have the Supe package in hand. They'll Supe, do their Synchro play, uh, and so we would save our Negate for that, and we'll just use the Ash Blossom right now. Negate the Leaf Fish. No shift to the graveyard for you. Opponent, do you have any other plays? Opponent triggers the Unicorn. We get to take a look at their extra deck, and we're going to banish Supreme Sovereign because they got doubles of everything else. Now, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I should have just gone aggressive. Because if Opponent triggers the Unicorn again, we could have taken a 2-of card. Beautiful Princess. Very nice draw. Beautiful going to let us do an XZ Summon again. Opponent Ash Blossoming. All right. Now, I feel Opponent has something in hand. Like Could be like a Maxi. Could be anything. All right. Could be, you know, the play on your opponent's turn, Summon a Fish. So, I'm going to negate the Ash Blossom. I got the Cash Tier Unicorn to banish from the extra deck. I'm just going to hope that they don't have anything good. Opponent going to Hop Ear Squadron. Hop Ear very powerful play and let them synchro summon into the Arian post banish a level two zep from the deck and then immediately synchro summon to an eight we'll let them banish the utopic this is targetable and we've already used our negate so opponent going to clear the draco future if they know what they're doing uh we still get our other xz though so what are we going to do well unicorn is going to make it so they don't have a choice because the other thing opponent could do is opponent could summon the whale uh, the whale that destroys all attack position monsters. Really should have summoned this buzz shot in defense mode. If they pop all our attack position monsters, leave us with just a Draco future, they might be able to get a banish off and then we'd be left with nothing. So we're going to banish the whale. The whale from their extra deck. But opponent, banishing shift, what are you doing? Opponent banished shift. So uh, I was going to banish the whale, but opponent banished shift. So they're not doing plays this turn. They're going to wait and try and do plays on the next turn. I think that's a bit risky, opponent. I think you should have just gone for it right now. Uh, so we banned, we banished one of their Ar 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 oh. one of our Azcans from the extra deck. Take out opponent's wheel. All right, come up against the Ocean Master. You got to come prepared. Watch some more Sim King videos. Let's go on to the next game. All right, if you like seeing XZ Sharks, make sure to subscribe and come back next time because I have more quality water deck lists coming up. Opponent hitting us with the maxi. We're gonna call by the grave now If you call by the grave and you got maxi and call by the grave you got ash you got call by the grave, right? Do I negate with ash or do you negate with call by ash? I, I find is like can be used more offensively So that's why I'm using the call by right now, but if I was worried about opponent having their own ash blossom I could have I could have ash blossomed then held my call by but I think we're good We got some redundancy here Cash to your Fenrir go in to search for another rise heart Rise Heart summons itself. None of this uses the normal summon, so very easy to splash. 
go into a rank 7 XE, make the Diabolus, Diabolus, gonna take a look at the opponent's extra deck, banish a monster, and now we know our opponent is playing Sky Strikers. Alright, we're gonna take away their one copy of Zeke. Zeke is now banished forever. We're gonna banish our opponent's deck randomly. Buzzsaw, going to summon the Silent Angler, and we're gonna go full combo again, alright? Do it again. But Bahamut Shark, detach, make the Nightmare Shark, rank up into Full Armor Black Ray Lancer, make the Utopic Future, and make the Draco, Utopic Draco Future. So we got a Undestroyable, we got a Monster Negate, and Diabolus, uh, not really doing too much right now. But let's see what our opponent was up to. Opponent, firing off this call by to banish Fenrir. Not sure what that's all about. Sky Striker Airspace. Mystical Space Typhoon popping the airspace. Now when airspace is popped, it's going to search the deck. Special summon a Sky Striker Ace monster. Unless we negate with Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom negate. Opponent firing off this Mecha Widow Anchor. Okay, maybe that is why they held this call by the grave. Or they fired off early so they get three spells so that they could steal our Draco Future. Opponent trying to steal it. Opponent stealing. But, opponent, can you get rid of it, or do we get it back at the end of turn? Because if opponent has no way to get rid of it, then we're going to get him back. Opponent, do you have a way? No, they do not. We get him back. All right, negate back online. That was a frightening moment for the first second there. Beautiful. Come on out there. Let's do our XE play again. Buzzsaw Shark at the right-hand shark. Uh, make an Utopia. Okay, this was a misplay, all right? This was a massive misplay. I forgot which Utopia to summon. Where's the other Utopia? All right, did I accidentally banish it? All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this later. I think I used to have a combo in this deck that's like a Utopia OTK, and I either took it out or one of the pieces is missing. We'll talk about this later. We'll talk about this at the deck list. So was Utopia the best choice? No, but um, that's what we made, and uh, I, I meant to do that. Let's just go into Zeus, all right? Zeus it up. We could have got lethal there, though. If uh, the deck was constructed better. Opponent setting a monster. Face down, passing the turn. They are out of here. Love to see it. Let's go on to the next game. All right. Opponent going first. And they are playing Pendulum Nonsense. I will accelerate the Pendulum Nonsense so it is as fast as possible. But I assure you, what they did is complete nonsense. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! And the problems with Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think Pendulums are probably like the most symptomatic. Every card in this deck has so many words, it's impossible to comprehend what is happening. And opponent is going to do a wombo combo for 10 minutes. It's like the worst, this is the worst parts of Yu-Gi-Oh. And I don't think it's the problem is inherently with Pendulums themselves. I think if they just had simpler spell based effects, uh, that would be, be fine. But because they're all monster combo decks that play for 10 minutes and they all have so much text, I think they're just the most egregious design mistake of Yu-Gi-Oh. So Konami ban all pendulums. That's my that's my secret wish. If there's a pendulum card you like, let me know. Opponent. Almost on their wombo combo. Uh, making a vortex dragon. Making a, a two negate Appaloosa, and an abyss dweller. Pl trying to play into tier limits, I guess. Worried about tier limits still. They have not been banned yet, but they will be banned soon. Opponent ending the turn. Okay. Can we get through this board? All right, opponent has a negate with the Vortex Dragon. They got two negates on the Appaloosa, and they set a time Pendulum Graph, which is actually two pops, I believe. Yeah, uh, you can uh, target a card and then target another card, destroy. Okay, so it's, it's a pop. They got a pop. They got three negates. Let's draw. Opponent turning off the graveyard. That is fine. Now, if we activate Pot of Desires, it's going to get negated by the Vortex Dragon. Maybe we should do this. All right, maybe we should just let Pot get negated because we got all these cash tiers in hand. But the problem is, all these cash tiers we're going to get negated by Appaloosa. So let's let's try this. All right, let's summon the cash tier. Also, we got to worry about opponent's pop. Opponent just firing the pop right away. Not even going to wait. Immediately popping. Searching for the purple poison. And we're just going to do it again because these are not once per turn because cash tiers are very fair. Let's go to battle. Attack over Appaloosa. Now Appaloosa is gone. All right. Opponent still has a negate with the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, though. So we're going to have to eat the negate. Activate Unicorn. Opponent negates with the Odd Eyes. Could have gone for the pot. Maybe pot would have been a better play. You never know. But now our pots no longer can be negated. And we got another Unicorn. 
draw two. Take a look at what we uh, banished here. This evenly matched would have been great earlier. Uh, we banished all copies of Rise Heart. That is not ideal. And a Cashier Ogre. And we also banished the Preparations, which would have been very nice. So very unlucky banishes with the pot. We are going to have to use our Cosmic to clear this Pendulum Graph. Otherwise, they'll get to pop stuff on our turn. We do get to XZ, though. Beautiful. Get the Buzzsaw. XZ into the Stealth Kragen. Cannot be destroyed by battle. So we get to pop their vortex dragon get pop in and we get to pop a monster on our opponent's turn as well so opponent we'll see maybe they can't rebuild they can't get through the stealth kragen by attacks you never know we also got ash blossom in hand opponent gonna fire up their abyss dweller again triggering our cash tira ogre let's just look at the top five cards of their deck and banish one of them um they're also playing cash tiras we're gonna banish their birth opponent skull crabat joker going to try to search but we are going to negate with the ash now maybe this is the right moment to pop you let me know i was going to wait till they summon something more important but that was their normal summon if i popped it maybe they wouldn't have been able to go into beyond the pendulum beyond the pendulum big problem all right it's going to let them pay 1200 life points to add a pendulum monster to their hand but then they have to pendulum summon okay they can't otherwise they can't activate any effects uh, in their pendulum zone so we're going to pop this because this has another secret effect. If they Pendulum Summon and the monsters come to the zones it points to, they get to pop two cards. So we don't want that. Pop the Beyond. Opponent getting a Harmonizing Hand. Pendulum Call. Gonna let him combo Wombo again, probably. You never know, but can opponent get through our board? Oaf Dragon Magician. Negated. Uh, Perform Pal Celestial. Negated. Opponent Pendulum Summoning. Getting their entire hand onto the field. Summoning four monsters. Summoning five monsters. And going into Draco Berserker. All right, now if we activate our Stealth Kragen, the Draco Berserker will banish it. Not ideal. Uh, opponent. Going to get in, hit our Kashira Ogre, get a second attack. They'll boost their own attack points, but they cannot clear the Stealth Kragen. Stealth Kragen cannot be destroyed by battle thanks to his material. The right hand shark. So opponent going into turtle mode, making the Baguska. Baguska, putting everyone to sleep, making it so we can't activate monster effects. And our extra deck is all XZ monsters. So Baguska shuts us down completely. Maybe we should be playing our copy of Bazoo. Maybe we should be playing a Baguska. Maybe Baguska should be in here. All right, but he's not. So what do we do? Well, we just have to wait. All our monster effects would be negated. So opponent gets another turn. Baguska detaching, switching to attack mode. And I don't know, maybe, you know, what we should have done once they switch to attack mode is pop the Draco Berserker. That way they don't get to respond with the quick effect. Oh, wait, though no, they would, because Baguska would stop being negated. So it wouldn't matter. Would not matter. Opponent summoning more pendulums. S Nightmare Unicorn going to spin, and that should be a pathway to lethal. We're going to try and respond here. If opponent quick effect vanishes with the Draco Berserker, then their monsters stop being water, so we don't get the pop. One of the weaknesses of the Stealth Kragen. But opponent just lets it go. Popping the Draco Berserker, so now opponent just has to find 6,800 damage. But they are playing Pendulums, and they have not used their normal summon. Despite having summoned three or four times already. Look, we did it with the Cash Tira, so it's only fair. Uh, opponent, Supreme King, and that is lethal damage. So we are going to scoop it up. Ban Pendulums, thank you. Let's go on to the next game. All right, on to the next game. We got some evenly matched. Not very good going. Not very good going first. Let's cast your combo. Fenrir into Rise Heart. Now, I've been following competitive tournaments, all right, for Master Duel, and nobody is playing cast heroes right now. Let's go into the Shanga era. I think cast is just missing some pieces that make it very broken. Bahamut Shark, going to go into the Nightmare and go into the Black Rail Lancer, and that's going to give us our negate. So we got Shangri-Era to summon a cash tier on our opponent's turn. And we got the negate with the Utopic Future, plus we got Cosmic, and we got Evenly Matched. Let's see what the opponent's got. Opponent, what can you do? Activate Shangri-Era. Summon the Fenrir. Opponent going to pot. Pot it up. Draw one. Triggering the Shangri-Era because they banish cards face down. 
We are going to lock their pendulum zone. I don't know if my opponent's playing pendulum, but I hate pendulum, so let's shut them off if they're playing pendulums. No pendulum summon for you. Cash tier of birth. We are going to banish right away with the cosmic cyclone. Stop our opponent from using his effect in normal summon. Special summon. Uh, looks like they got another one. All right, never mind. Uh, opponent summoning the unicorn. Activating the cash tier of rise heart in hand. Going to let us banish with the Fenrir. Activate a monster effect. Triggers the Shangri Era. Let's just lock a monster zone opponent. Going to level 7. Normal summoning. Or special summoning from the banished zone. Their own Fenrir back. We still got the negate with the Utopic. Opponent summoning the Ogre. Getting the trap. Summoning the Ascended of Thunder. All right. This is pure. This is pure cash tiers. All right. All level 7 turbo. And opponent going to make the big eye. Big eye going to try and steal. Gonna try and yoink. I don't think so, opponent. Negate. Negate the yoink. No stealing. Now we steal. You try to yoink us, we're gonna yoink you. Because if the monster that this negates is on the field, you get to yoink it. Getting us the big eye. Alright, opponent. Triggering both their cash tiras. They're gonna banish our utopic Draco future. He is gone forever. Opponent looking at the top cards of our deck. Gets to banish one of them. They chose to banish the cash tira spell. Exe summoning the mind hacker. Mind hacker gonna hack our mind. Banish our utopia. I don't think we needed that opponent. We could have banished something better probably. Also milling a bunch of cards from our deck. Now who knows what's on top of our deck. We got a lot of cards in the mill zone though. In the banished mill zone. Opponent banishing. Our cash tira. Going into a Zeus. Zeus in it up. Is opponent gonna wipe the board right now? If opponent wipes the board right now, we're in big trouble. I guess even if opponent wipes the board later, we're in big trouble. Draw. All right. Opponent, you should really wipe the board, all right? Because we have your uh, big eye. Opponent, you know, wipe the board right now. Oh, uh, there we go. All right. There's the wipe. Opponent in the standby phase wiping. Shangri Era has triggered. So actually, opponent, a bit of a mistake because the Shangri Era triggers on the stack or on the chain first. So we're actually going to get our monsters. Zeus is going to wipe everything away and we're going to get the monster search from the Shangri era. No big eye steal though. Uh, opponent summoning their cash tira and wiping it away. We get the ogre. Ogre activate. Get the trap. And we got the rice heart in hand. Rise heart. Summon it up. Now what do we do? What do we do? We Shangri era in defense mode. Opponent Zeus does nothing. All right. Now, what would have been probably better is to get Yoinkin, the Zeus, uh, if we had the big eye in the extra deck. This version of the deck didn't have big eye. Instead, it had nonsense like this. Get out of here, all right? Make sure you stick around to see the full deck list that I, you know, fixed. I made it good. Shangri era. Gonna let us summon a cash tira in the standby phase. We're gonna summon one with the preparations. Opponent getting frisky with the Zeus. Hitting our unicorn. Ending the turn. All right. Drop. Cash Tira Shangri Era summoning a Cash Tira, but what do we got? We got the Diabolus. We don't have any other level sevens. Let's activate. Preparations. Get preparing. Get the unicorn. Make the mine hacker. Activate the pot. Get pot in. Draw two. Nothing we can extend with. Let's take a peek. Banish our opponent's one copy of Baronda Fleur. Start locking the zones up. But what do we do? What do we do next? Well, we banish a lot of our opponent's cards. Lock more zones. We get to battle because this, this card, it can get frisky, all right? I know it has zero attack, but it gets frisky. If it gets destroyed, you can just detach the material instead. And now we get to make the Zeus rank up. Now we got the Zeus. Opponent. What are you going to do? Go into battle. Hitting the Diabolus. We're going to let it go. They destroyed a card, so it triggers our Zeus. Now Zeus has three materials. Let's draw. All right, draw it up. All right, you know what? I enjoyed that so much. I'm going to get another material on my Zeus. Let's get in. Crash our own monster. So Zeus sees it die. Attach a monster from the extra deck. Now Zeus has four materials. Wipe away the Zeus. With the Zeus, attack for 3,000. Pass the turn. All right, because Butuniful Princess, we only have two cards left in the deck. All of our fishes are banished. 
So we can't. We have no plays with the Butuniful opponent. Uh, Dimensional Fisher not going to do anything to us. Cash Tira Ogre and a Psy Beast. Going to mean we're Zeusing it up. Zeus it up. Wipe the field. Opponent has no cards in play. We got two cards left in the deck. And we got lethal damage with the Zeus. Love to see it. Let's get in with lethal Maxi on the field. Love. Love it. Cash Tira is quite strong. Quite fun. And supporting our fish quite well. Look, the fish was right there. Let's go on to the next game. All right. We got one more game before I show off the full deck list. Let's get going. All right. Now, what is this hand? This hand is garbage. We got Silent Angler. We got two Max Cs. We got Cosmic, but we have no way to make plays. Cash Tira Unicorn can search for the spell. All right. So we'll get that online. Um, but it's not doing anything. Set Cosmic and uh, hope for the best. We're going to stand by phase Max C. 91% uh, usage is up. It was 80 something before. It's 91 now. People are like, oh, wait, I forgot to put Max C in my deck. Thank you, Konami, for reminding me. Usage is up. Please ban Max C, Konami. Uh, opponent going to battle, evenly matching. All right, we're going to leave the rebirth. Why the rebirth? Um, I don't know. I probably should have left the unicorn. Opponent activating cyber emergency. Going to get a Naster. Okay, my reasoning. Okay, here, you know what? Here was my reasoning when I was doing this, all right? I was like, well, if I draw a Fenrir and I have a monster on field, I won't be able to summon it. So that's why I let the Unicorn go. Opponent getting. Cyber Dragon. Going into an All Mirage. But opponents already used their battle phase, so they're not going to be able to OTK us. Getting a Galaxy Soldier, all right? And passing the turn. They don't want to play into the Max C. That is brave. All right, we draw another Unicorn. Not what we wanted. Attack with the All Mirage. Steal from our opponent's extra deck. The Snake. All right, there's Verte. No Verte Anaconda for you. And that is what makes Cash Tira so strong. All right, taking a peek at our opponent's extra deck and banishing their, like, one-ofs really can mess up their place. Salamangri All Mirage destroyed. Opponent evenly matching. All right, we learned our lesson. We're going to keep the Unicorn this time. Set a cross out. We're going to rely on our Max C. Standby phase Max C. Or draw, that, draw phase Max C. Pwn again a Cyber Dragon. Banish it to summon a Cyber Dragon. Giving us a lot of cards. Triggering our Unicorn. We're going to banish... Oh my goodness. Uh, we banished their Cyber End Dragon. Uh, maybe we should have banished the two ofs. I usually, if I start with banishing the one ofs, maybe I should banish the two ofs. Opponent. Cyber Emergency. And are they going to go full combo? They are going full combo right. Galaxy Soldier going to summon another Galaxy Soldier. Opponent going to give us a lot of cards here in order to make a negate. Making a Fortress Dragon. And going on to the Cyber Dragon Nova, going to rank itself up. Special summon a Cyber Dragon from the graveyard, make the Infinity. So Infinity's got a negate. Opponent couldn't go into Verte and attack for lethal with the fusion spell and the Cyber Dragon that attacks multiple times because uh, we banished their Verte. It's face down. It's one of these face down cards. Opponent going to get in for not quite lethal damage. And that means they failed the maxi challenge. Now we get to we get to take the maxi challenge, which is to not lose after you've drawn a billion cards with maxi. We're gonna activate cross out, uh, banish Ash Blossom from the deck so we don't draw it. Opponent giving us more cards, uh, attaching to get another negate with the infinity, but it's only once per turn. Uh, draw an Ash Blossom, even though that was what we banished to not draw Ash Blossom. 19 cards left in the deck. All right, so uh, what do we got here? Well, we have this very beautiful art of Cyber Dragon getting negated. Let's use that on the Cyber Dragon. It is the most flavorful negate. Negate the Cyber Dragon. Opponent negates our negate, but by negating their negate, they have no negate. Cash cheer it up. Level 7, Big Eye. All right, the deck has been fixed. We have Big Eye in the deck now. All right, that's why you stick around. Get Yoink in. Yoink their Cyber Dragon. Now we can get Yoink in. Again. Plus our Shark. Go into the Bahamut Shark. Detach, make the Nightmare, Black Ray Lancer. Go into the Utopic Future, go into... Oh, hold hold on a second, we can do it again. Butuniful Princess with the one for one. Buzzsaw Shark. Slide on in Silent Angler, make the Cells Kragen. Go into the Utopic Draco Future, get Poppin', get Yoinkin'. And that is lethal damage with Fish, Cash, Tira. Let's go on to the deck list. All right. 
Here it is. Fish XZ. Alright, what do we got? We got a bunch of fish. We got a bunch more fish to start our plays. Let's go through the full deck list. Triple Butuniful, Triple Maxi, Triple Ash Blossom. We got two Silent Anglers. We got one Right Hand Shark. We got our play starter Buzzsaw Shark. We got Triple Rise Heart. We got double Fenrir. We got triple Unicorn. We got two Kashtira Ogres. One one for one. Double Pot of Desires. The Kashtira Birth. Cosmic Cyclone at two. Two copies of Call by the Grave. Cross out Designate. Triple Evenly Matched. One Imperm. One Solemn Judgment. Probably could be replaced with another Imperm. And the Kashtira Preparations. In the extra deck, we got a lot of slots dedicated to the Utopic combo. We got one Utopic Future. Utopic Draco Future. Nightmare Shark. Uh, this is Utopia. He's just here for fun. If there's another rank 4 XZ I should be putting in this deck, you let me know. Utopia is kind of a placeholder for something better. All right. But Bahamut Shark and the Full Armor Black Ray Lancer. And that is what you need to do the combo. One, two, three, four, five extra deck slots to make an indestroyable negate uh, once per turn. I think it's worth it. All right. It's a lot of slots, but probably worth it still. We got two Stealth Kragans. We got the Kragan Spawn. We got Big Eye. We got Diabolus the Mind Hacker times two. We got two Shangri Eras. And we got the Zeus. All right. You let me know what you think of the deck list. If you like it. If you have any comments. If you got any suggestions. If fish are finally viable with a, a little bit of, of maybe like maybe like a quarter of the deck being cashed Tiras. Hope you like the video. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.